All right, y'all. So in this one, we're going to be talking about Chuck and we'll be talking about my affiliation. And basically the, the team, I want I want you all to understand the full context. I mean, you're going to believe what you're going to believe. You're going to think what you're going to think about the entire situation. But I want to explain the reason that I decided to start selling my Chuck to, to get out of the project and to distance myself from the team. Because at the end of the day, a lot of things have started to happen and I don't know I don't know certain people within the team well enough. Well, I don't know anyone within the team well enough to to know their character, to know what they're really about and things like that. All I know is the things that I've seen. And basically it, it is what it is at this point, bro, cuz I'm not I'm not part of this little game, this little scheme, whatever it is that they got going on. They've been behaving very very weird. So it is what it is at this point. Talk about burning bridges. We can do that. The team. Ron's Crypto Therapy. Danny the Bull. Rowie is one of their, their, their whales. And then this Crypto Lord guy with like 160,000 followers who's some type of influencer. Like he's behind, he's behind the scenes with these guys as well. So this is basically the team, I guess, and it's more, it's more people, but I don't really know any of them. Danny reached out to me a while ago to do an interview. I never really got back to him because I, I be busy. I don't be focused on YouTube like that, to be completely honest with you. But obviously when I come around, people want to start acting friendly and stuff who ain't never spoke to me in their life because people want something from you. But it is what it is. So somebody that I trusted told me that I should check out what they got going on. Somebody that I trust. And that's the only reason that I ever, ever even got in contact with Ron in the first place. Like people kept telling me his name. People kept saying this. It's like, I'm like, who is this? I, Cause I know the other crypto therapy dude, bro. Like I know they got the same name. I, I know the other one. And that one, I always see his YouTube videos and his technical analysis. I think he has like billions of Omi or something like that. So I knew him. I didn't know this guy, but he has a lot of friends in some big positions. So that's why I took the conversation, tried to learn what they was about, learn what they had going on. But this is how I approach situations, bro. I don't spend my time digging into a project. I'm not going to learn about a project unless I'm getting paid. And I have messages like, let me see, what what date is this? This, this is literally... The 23rd, this is two days ago. I got reached out to by a big exchange. They wanted me to be an affiliate. I said, I don't do affiliates. I, I won't start looking into your project. I won't start looking into your exchange or none of that until y'all send me 2,500. Out the gate, like, and it's, it's a it's a pretty big exchange. It's a it's a pretty big exchange. Like, and that, that's just what it is. I don't have time to sit here and be looking into anything. I like. Everyone gets the same thing from me. You don't get my time. You're not getting my time. You're not getting my ear. I'm not, I'm not interested in looking into something. And yeah, it's like, it's, it's of no benefit to me. So that's just how I am. Like, that's how I conduct business and as a whole. Now, the, what the Chuck team brought me on for is obviously marketing related. Everyone knows my reputation from VV. Everyone knows me. Um, especially in this circle, like these are a bunch of VV guys as everyone also suspected. But what made me believe in this project is they is the catalyst. But the more that I dove into the broader, even broader <laughs> crypto space, the more that I started learning about these projects, these meme coins, what makes the communities um, tick, why they blow up and stuff like that. And it started to paint very clear pictures to me. Now, all these catalysts, I don't think any people jumping into the meme coin space actually takes catalysts this seriously. I don't think that they they care about this stuff. There's no evidence to support that meme people care about catalysts. They're there for the community, the fun, the memes, the laughs, and to shill something. That's, that's what it's all about. That's what these communities are about. So they're trying to take this big, serious project. They're trying to create, they're trying to create these little, um, <clears throat> And, and hey, fuck it, it is what it is. Like, they're catalysts. Um, they have two games coming out. I already told you all that. Then they're trying to create a launch pad. They're trying to create a launch pad and they think that that's gonna be successful, a successful thing from it. And Ron actually wants to distance himself from owning the project, I guess. He's, he wants to distance himself. 
But when I started being skeptical of this project and I started to give them ideas about how to better market things is around here, this drop. This drop felt real unorganic to me and, and how it continued, how it continued. Cause like I said, the first thing that comes to my mind is are these guys dumping? But then everyone's showing the stats and, and stuff like that. Oh no, it's not, it, it's not the, it's not the founder wallets. It's not the top 10 wallets. Then top 10 holders start dumping. Now, Ro, this, this guy Roe or whatever his name is, he literally just attacked me out of nowhere on behalf of messages he saw between me and Ron. And basically in the message with Ron, I'm saying, I'm telling Ron, listen, y'all are moving like a pump and dump right now. The first thing that happened, even, even I thought, are y'all dumping? So you mean to tell me I have access to you all and I'm assuming that you all are dumping when stuff like this happens. You need someone on the front lines. I'm not even saying me, this, this, is, this is my exact words. I'm not even saying I have to be the influencer that's on the front lines, letting people know that things are okay. I said that role needs to be filled. That role needs to be filled. Obviously, I was brought on board. I was paid to give them advice about how to market. And then when I do so, when I tell you, bro, every everyone in the space. So when you look at a, a project like Brett, like, and this is just this is just the game. This is just the overall crypto game. And I'm giving away a lot of game right now, bro. I'm giving away a lot of game. A lot of people are gonna be mad at me, but it is what it is. If you look at Brett, the, the project Brett, you'll see people, a person like Crash there. He's an influencer who blew up and got big because of his, his accomplishments with the Brett project. Now, there's someone called Caesar. Some of his, his allegations and some of his suspicions is that these guys are controlled by a bigger team. A bigger team sits here and makes these influencers prominent and it builds trust so people can see, oh, this is the guy on the front line. So the Dogecoin millionaire, you saw it with him and you saw it with Dogecoin, where he was, he was the, the project was kind of associated with him a lot. And, you know, people could see that he was holding and made them want to hold. You see it with, with the um, VV community and the Omi token. You have Randy. And obviously he's real buddy buddy with the team. You, you like, basically, Every project that semis, I mean, VV is an exception. It don't matter what they do. It's like, listen, okay, this ain't a roasting session. Regardless, every project that succeeds seems to have people, a person that, that people can look at, a real person. They can look at that person and be like, oh, they're still holding. So that was my, that, that was my suggestion in terms of marketing. You all are sitting here hiring these known pump and dumpers to keep pumping this token and it keeps dumping. Because it's dumping because there's no foundation. There's no trust. People do not believe in this project. People don't have a face, a team to believe in. They don't have anything that's going to make them believe in this project. So I'm sitting here telling them, bro, people need to believe in the project. People need someone to believe in. Like a dog running around kicking shit is cool, but no, who's going to believe in that? Like it's funny, but, and then you, you're trying to, you're trying to create launch pads and you're trying to do all this big stuff that's different from a meme coin. And I'm not saying that it won't work. I'm not saying that it won't change meme coins forever. But at the end of the day, that's unproven. We don't know that people will respect that. We don't know that people want to see that from a meme coin. What I think is that you're in the wrong, you're in the wrong space trying to do something serious. It's like trying to trying to build a, a tech company, a, a super serious tech companies from inside of Chuck E. Cheese. Like, and, and if y'all like overseas and stuff like that, it's basically just like a, 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 a six flags. Like that's an American thing, whatever Disney world. <laughs> like I know people know that. Like, it's like trying to sit here and build tech companies out of a Disney world, bro. Like it's what? So that's, that's what I, that's what I basically told them, man. I told them that, Yo, if y'all need the influencer, listen, I was brought on board. I was brought on board to give y'all, you know, give y'all a game, to tell y'all, yo, marketing and stuff like that. I'll to tell y'all about that. Like, that's why I was brought on board. But obviously for my fee, for my fee, I will be the, and this is what I specifically told Ron. I don't want to be an influencer anymore. I don't want to do YouTube. I don't want to be in the spotlight. I make, I, I do fine investing. I do, I do fine doing what I do. 
and this this is the part that always gets cut out. People like to twist and, and, and turn shit however they want to turn it. I told Ron I didn't want to do that. I didn't even want to be an influencer. But the more that I was with the Chuck Project, the more that I was I was seeing what they was doing and behind the scenes seeing, and listen, I'm not going to sit here and, and start calling out developers and stuff like this, but their developer, one of their developers in particular, he's he did something that made me really think lowly of Vivi, to be honest, very lowly. And, and, and it's, it's, I would suggest ideas to him. Then he would come back with it implemented the next day. And it, it, it was something in particular that VV said would take time to do. Yet one developer, one guy, his t I, I suggested something, his turnaround time for that thing was done the next day. It, it wasn't polished and, and super perfect or anything, but it was functional and working the very next day. And that's when I started to realize a lot about a lot of projects that I've, I've been a part of. It's like, no, VV is holding their feet. They're, they're, they're full of shit. It doesn't take this long to do all the things that they're doing. There's something bigger at play behind the scenes. This is what these teams do. These teams sit around plotting and, and sitting here playing master manipulator and stuff like that, trying to control every single thing. And as you should with a, with a project, but not at the expense that you start hurting your people. And that's that was my issue with Chuck. My issue, my issue with the Chuck team is that I got people into this. I have family in, into this. I got family into Chuck. And that, that just goes to show you that my belief, because I'm not going to sit here and put people that I care about into a product. Like, like literally my friends, I literally had to sit there and help them get into it. So that that's just to, to show you all my belief in the project. I'm sitting here tweeting out, I'm tweeting out private conversations between me and my friends. Like me and my friends, bro. My friends are down right now. Well, if, if like it, it's like so at the at the point where I see you out here marketing to a bunch of known pump and dump people. I see you out here marketing to a bunch to a bunch of known pump and dumpers, like through a bunch of known pump and dumpers, where it doesn't look like you're seriously trying to build a foundation for this project, but it looks like you're trying to get a quick buck. Because when this red day came right here, when this happened. Listen, I know that it was one guy who did it, but for all I know, he did it and he didn't care about taking the blame for this happening to Chuck. And then he just broke bread with all y'all. Like the, for, for all I know, for all I know, he just broke bread with all y'all behind the scenes. Like, because shortly after this, shortly after this, Ron suddenly, listen, you wanna talk about the unluckiest person in the world? Ron has so much stuff going on in real life. He's dealing with so many family crises. He's dealing with all this stuff. And it all happens after this red day. At least that's when he, that's when he speaks about all of it. <clears throat> so you mean to tell me everything was perfectly fine when we was in the green and everything was good. But as soon as this red drop happens, life has turned to shit for you. <clears throat> so now you need to take days away and stuff like that. I don't trust people. So at the point where this happened, I thought the team might have had something to do with it. And if you ask um, Crypto Bro, I believe that's that's your tag on Twitter, my guy. Um, crypto Bro. Crypto Bro, he posted, yeah, Crypto Bro. I asked him, you, you can ask him, you can ask him, like, he, he get, he'll let you know. I asked him, could he look into this information that I was given by the team? to make sure that nothing not, nothing that I'm too inexperienced to see actually happened. And he told me that it looks in line with what they said. But even still, I, I am well aware that a team can have multiple wallets, but I don't know how to track that. I don't know how to track if they have multiple wallets. I'm well aware that this whale could have dumped on everyone and went and broke bread with every with, with the with the team behind the team, but behind the scenes. So What's interesting to me is the fact that these guys will try to attack me, try to sit here and destroy my credibility and all of this stuff as if people see me as someone who even has credibility in the first place. It's like at the end of the day, people sit here and spin these crazy narratives about me and that's what's always talked about. But no one talks about the people who are constantly making money with me. No one talks about the facts because you want to talk about how, oh, Cavill bought, bought, he bought high and sold low. Like, 
not realizing how high in profits I was when I sold in VV, like how high in profits I've been in Chuck. It's like every every move that I've made has been successful, yet someone wants to spin it and make it look bad. Someone wants to spin it and make it look bad. The reality is I suggested that this team come out and have a face to it because people need people to believe in. They need to see someone like when stuff like this happens, they need to see, oh, this guy is still holding. He still hold like that. That was my suggestion. We need to see a real person actually affiliated with this team is still holding. <clears throat> And check this out. Now this one, I mean, gray area, red tape, over the line, it is what it is. My suggestion was even, bro, take a wallet, have Chuck in it, have a certain amount of Chuck in it, like have like 3 million Chuck in it. And that way you can, you can make that wallet public and say that that's, and say that this is, this is the team's wallet. This, this is, or this is the influencer's wallet, boom. So now you have a wallet where you can be like, yo, I'm earning all this money. Just like Crash, just like these people who are not taking profits, who are not selling, not doing any of that. You got people like that, like Crash in the Brett community. You got people who never sell like Dogecoin Millionaire, even though I think he's like just a real hodler. Like I think that that's where, I think he is where this all started. And companies saw that that worked after he did it. And then they started building and making their own influencers. Like, cause that's what the broader space looks like everywhere, bro. Like the broader space is literally that, the same strategy repeated and it it is pretty effective. But yeah, I'm like, why not just do that? Do something that shows longevity and sustainability. If every, if all of your competition is doing this and you're not going to do it, yet you'll sit here and pump and dump your own token. What are we talking about right now? Like, are, is, is this actually a scam? So listen, I wanted nothing to do at the point where it started looking more and more like a pump and dump and more and more like a scam and I can't really trust them. I'm keeping my bags until Chuck goes up a little bit more and then I'm selling, I'm selling off, I'm selling off more and more. I'm selling off more and more that that's what it is like that. That's what I've been doing. And I wasn't going to make some video with my conspiracies or with my thoughts on it and, and things like that. I, I haven't talked about Chuck or talked to the team in days. I haven't, I was just going to walk away. I, I told Ron, you did give me an opportunity to be a part of Chuck. So out of respect, I'm, I'm staying, I'm not going to sit here and start making accusations, start telling people the things that's going on in my mind and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, you, you you and your team want to start attacking me. Oh, we're going to end your credibility. You wanted this, you wanted that. And then the guy who, who who's going to threaten me, Ro, he's going to what expose that I asked him that I asked him what he does to make his money. Because when Chuck was dumping, this guy put in $20,000. So this is, and that's the thing that threw me off. And that's the, that's actually what helped me come up with the idea because I saw when the fire was on, me sitting there hodling, the person who was right there, right there next to me was Ro. Like he was, he was there too. And he dropped 20 K and it's like people in the, in the telegram started to believe they started to actually believe in the project. They started to see, oh, this has nothing to do with the team. Would he be dropping money like this? If this had anything to do with the team. And that's what made me think of it. It's like, okay, so the Telegram, the small Telegram community, we have him to believe in because he's very close to the team. And if he's sitting here dropping 20,000 in while it's dumping, there's no way he could be a part of that dump. But so so I saw that beacon of light during the darkness. And that, that's that's really what started getting the, the ball, the, the, the balls moving. Like that sounded crazy. Like that, that's got that's got everything moving, and then I started to see, you know, think that oh, okay, maybe maybe that's a solid idea. This is what all the other projects do. Blah blah blah. So yeah, to see that, and then now the guy's attacking me for asking him 
how he became successful as if that's like some type of insult. Like, no, I definitely asked you how you became successful. I definitely try to get as much information from any and every everyone that I, I come in contact with. So you sitting here flexing and talking crazy about me because I ask you how you became successful. What the fuck? What, what, what do you what type of conversations are you having? And this is this is the problem. This is the problem with people like you. Y'all not having conversations about how to build something. You're having conversations about trying to destroy me. How? How, how do you think you're capable of doing that? Like, who do you think you are? Who do any of you all think you are? It's clear. I know way more about y'all than y'all. Everything about me is public. What? What are we talking about? It's like, and, and it's like, this is what scares me about the Chuck team. Y'all are this stupid. Like y'all, y'all as a collective are this stupid to try to attack me. When, you, what, what, what do you, what do you have? Like, like how can you attack me? I know everything about y'all and what y'all got going on. At least the parts that y'all tell me. I still suspect that y'all has something to do with these dumps, but I can't prove that. I can't. That's why I don't talk about it. That's why I. That's why I start suggesting different marketing strategies that don't that look a lot less like a pump and dump. But no, you told me no. We still want the pump and dump strategies. We still want to do this. We still we we just gonna get an influencer here and there and here and there. It's like so so basically they didn't want to build a foundation. They wanted to just pump their token, like like a lot of pump and dumps do. So cool. That that's your decision. I'm like, okay, maybe it could still be legitimate. But now at the point where they're attacking me, threatening me, and all type of weird shit, bro. Like it is what it is. This is and this is not a this is not professional. I know multiple times behind the scenes, every time something happens, every time someone dumped, Ron is cursing up a storm, talking shit about them. So Ron don't even know me. He like he has the character where he's talking shit about these people. He's talking shit about these people to me, and he don't even know me. I I look past a lot of things, but now now it, it is what it is. He has the character where he's talking trash about people that that screwed him over to me. So I, I I was not surprised to hear he's talking shit about me behind my back. Like that's that that didn't that didn't shock me. That's him and his character. But also when he first started talking to me, uh, something that was a potential red flag in the first place was him coming to me like, yo, yeah, I got all these guys, these whales, they believe in me. They trust me. They spending their money. They, I can get them to put their money into this project. I'm like, okay, that's a weird way to say that. That's definitely a weird way to say that, but maybe it's just his personality. Maybe I'm digging too deep into it, but a guy like this kind of, listen, kind of weird. Kind, it's kind of weird sitting here, sitting here flexing the fact that you're capable of using people. But... I thought maybe I'm overlooking. A lot of these people are close to him, but they, they believe in him, they trust him. So maybe it's something that I'm not seeing. I haven't been here that long. So I'm not finna sit here and make assumptions about a guy I don't know. I just, I looked, I, I looked right past that. But a lot of these character traits, they keep reemerging. They continue to reemerge. So it is what it is, man. This is this is the full story from my side. This is this is what I have experienced, what I've seen. At the end of the day, this whole thing is all about something very very simple. What I saw them doing was in line with pumping dumps. What I suggested that that they that they do is it's much cheaper just to have your own influencer actually tied to the team or that's that's holding that's posting videos on your behalf that like my my one of my one of my exact plans was to show make videos on how to cash out every top cryptocurrency and bring all the profits into chuck because they want to sit here and say they say they think that my audience is the vv audience and the omi audience i showed them analytics that just as much as just as many non omi and vv people watch me as omi and vv people my my Omi and Vivi views dropped a long time ago. My views has sustained and stayed up to an extent all because of the broader crypto space. I don't have the same people watching me, but obviously they wouldn't know anything about YouTube because they don't actually know shit. That's why they brought me in in the first place. They don't know what's going on. So they sit around making stupid assumptions, thinking that I should 
bow to them or something like that. Like, who the fuck do y'all think y'all are? Y'all are nothing to me. I I was I, I was respectful. I was calm. I was cool. Out of respect for the opportunity and out of respect for the fact that you all were proving yourselves and I started to believe. I started to question when I saw this fucking mega dump right here. I start and then Ron suddenly going through all this shit all the time. And then Danny just don't say shit most of the time. It's like the, these guys are moving weird. The, these guys move weird in my opinion. So the fact that they don't want to be a legitimate project or it even appear like a legitimate project it is what it is, man. And listen, I apologize for anybody who, who's gotten hurt by this or anybody that I've onboarded because I've tried to, I tried to believe in them. <laughs> I tried to believe in them and find reason to believe in them and, and maybe think that, okay, maybe this isn't just some scam because I still saw things being worked on in the background. Like, like, but maybe it's just people like me who only knows a piece of the story and maybe they keeping these people working just to look like they not on some shady shit. It's like, I don't, I like I said, I don't trust these guys at all. I, I don't, I don't trust them at all anymore. And it's, it's the ways that they keep moving. Like that, it, it's, it's stuff that I've tried to ignore over a longer period of time that keeps coming up with these guys. Um, and yeah, so it is what it is. And then did this well attacking me today, sitting here trying to expose me. Like, listen, I'll just tell it, tell it, tell it for what it is. I'll tell it for what it is. Will you? That's pretty much it, y'all. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all leave y'all opinions. It is what it is. But that that's what it is. I got paid $2,000 and then 2 million chuck just to look into the project, just to dig in. And that's pretty much my standard. I'm not looking into your project. Like, I don't care. So you all need me on board that much. You you're, you paid me that to that extent. Yet suddenly, when I say, oh, and that was that was only for that was only for for six weeks, by the way. That 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 was that was what they paid me for six weeks. So you 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 see me as being worth that for six weeks only. But then when I say you need somebody in house constantly working with this project, keeping people informed, educating, building an actual community, you want to sit here and try to attack me? Okay. It is what it is. It is what it is. So yeah. Um, and then I, I was buying Chuck myself. So I, I, not only was I giving Chuck, I was buying Chuck. I had friends buying Chuck. But it's whatever, man. Um, let me know what y'all think. That's pretty much it.